Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setups for today. Um, so we we kind of top of how do I put it? We we top of range. Um, there's another way to, to explain it. The, you know, we we are in desperate need of some catalyst to drive these markets uh, either higher or lower for a, a decent reset. And uh, you know there is something coming out today in the U.S. which is non-farm non-farm payrolls which may impact um, price action at the moment. But to be quite honest, uh, until it does, we are sideways. And that's kind of what it's been for the last uh, month. We did try to break the downside last month, didn't work out. Now we're back in this range. So um, it just comes down to the levels that we can trade. If you look at the three hour grouping of all the oscillators, there is structure to the left, there's multiple bits of structure. Every single one of these tails here um, are going to offer support or resistance. So uh, pretty much the same picture here as what we've seen on the Dow is we are now forming higher lows. You can see there's a low, uh, higher low here, higher low here. So we definitely are forming higher lows and we're starting to form higher highs. So that could influence something. Um, could be a sign of things to come but for me the bigger picture is sideways uh, what I do see here on the on the hour is you can see we're definitely holding the um, moving averages and we've held it for two days that could be a half decent signal but I do want to see structure and I'm not seeing structure at the moment so uh, until we break out of this range I'm, I'm not entirely convinced that uh, that I want to be putting my money in here so uh, yeah, I'm also sit on sit on hands on the Dow at the moment. I'm actually sit on hands on everything except the the pound right now. So uh, yeah, there, there's nothing really I can add to this. This may be, add some support here at 15700, but you've got the top of the range right up here at 15800. Uh, there's not there isn't a real big catalyst in the market at the moment that's going to impact this. So I would expect uh, the algorithm to sort of sell off. Um, top of channel, move down the channel, all in the bigger trade time frames, uh, sell off down to bottom or find structure lower down. Um, there is a bit of a gap to the downside which would act as a magnet as well. And I just want to check on the 15 if there's any uh, no gaps here. It looks like it was a pretty solid bit of uh, price action yesterday. There's one up there, but I think that's closed over here. Um, and nothing else. But there is one down here. So if I just put something a level in there, you can see there's the close, there's the open, there's a gap there. Forget about the, the tail. I don't pay attention to tails. Um, you can see there's a gap with a tail below. Price is going to come back and close it. That's exactly what happened. Um, okay, so that's kind of, you've got this big gap and you've got that little gap there. So, yeah, 15 minute charts it is, I suppose. You know, if you find some structure inside this zone here between 15.664 and uh, 15.700, uh, that would be an opportunity to look for structure to trade with the trend. The trend is at, up at the moment, but your ultimate goal is only going to be as high as 15.800. I don't see us getting higher than that until after the noise is out. Unless some other noise comes out this morning that uh, we're not prepared for. But uh, personally, I think this looks like a bit of a wedge, so I would expect a deeper pullback on structure today. Uh, 15,600 area is kind of what I would be expecting. So somewhere between 15,600 and uh, 15,660. That's what I would expect. Anyway, hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.